This is Avi Suskin's 160th blood donation. I like helping people uh, without them knowing that I've been the one that's been donating. I like just doing things behind the scenes. But this donation has taken on a special meaning. Avi recently recovered from COVID-19 and that makes his blood all the more valuable. The Jewish Talmud states that each person, if you can help a life, it's like helping the whole world. And that's something I go by a lot. It's not the red and white blood cells that are needed, it's the plasma, the portion of the blood that is gold for medical researchers. Plasma is rich with antibodies. An antibody is a protein formed by the immune system. So it's part of the immune memory and it persists in the blood and helps um, you fight off that um, infectious agent when you're next exposed to it. The Red Cross is collecting a plasma for two clinical trials due to start within weeks. Avi's plasma will be among donations delivered to researchers at Monash University and then given to patients battling COVID-19 in intensive care. The blood service has been collecting plasma for a number of weeks now, so we believe we have enough to commence the study, um, but we still do, do need to uh, collect more plasma from donors. Dr Zoe McQuilton, a haematologist at Monash University, is heading up the trial. We'll be testing to see whether convalescent plasma, which is plasma collected from people who have recovered from COVID-19 and will contain antibodies against COVID-19, where the transfusion of that plasma improves um, patient outcomes, so time to clinical recovery and survival. We don't have details about what's the best dosage, what's the best timing of treatment, so uh, using convalescent plasma in, in well-structured clinical trials will help answer some of those questions. Using plasma from recovered patients to treat other cases in a pandemic isn't a new concept, but the jury is still out on how effective it is. So convalescent plasma has been used in previous infections, including uh, other viral infections such as influenza and SARS, but the results from the studies that were done for those viruses are mixed. It is difficult with these pandemics that by the time you're ready to get the study up and running, um, that you may no longer have cases to test the product uh, uh, within a clinical trial. But the blood's coming out, going up here, spinning around. The plasma's being separated down into the bag. Red cells are going over here, into the chamber. I think giving plasma after having COVID, I, I think I felt like it's something that I could do to help the situation. Sarah Koenig, who contracted coronavirus while holidaying in Canada, is also donating plasma. Like, I think we all feel really powerless and there's nothing we can do apart from stay home. And that's... I feel like I'm part of the solution as opposed to just part of, part of the problem, really. The plasma collected by the Red Cross is also going to biotech company CSL, one of the leading companies in the race to develop a vaccine. A vaccine first is going to take time to come. And so in the meantime, it's important that we have a treatment for them whilst waiting for a vaccine. CSL is going one step further than Monash. While Monash will inject raw plasma into patients, CSL will make a product containing concentrated antibodies from the plasma of multiple donors. We take that plasma and we turn it into a product that is very specific for the treatment of COVID-19 disease. So you know exactly what you're giving them because we measure it and we call it the neutralizing activity of the product. Hope is, is that the infection will resolve quicker and that they won't then go on to develop the, the very devastating consequences of COVID-19. So those people hopefully will not need to be admitted into ICU or need to go on to ventilators and would hopefully be able to leave hospital sooner. If Australia doesn't have enough cases to complete the trials, the data gathered here will be used to support trials being done at partner research institutes around the world. If we show that convalescent plasma is effective for COVID-19, that strengthens the rationale for using it in future uh, viral infections, yeah. of future viral pandemics. But it does give the Australians who do get COVID-19 in the months to come hope of a smoother recovery. If you're the only person in the whole country that whole year requires treatment, you would be wishing 
that there was a treatment available. And that's why we're here. We're doing this because we believe that it's imperative that for those people there's a treatment. It's a fantastic experience to know that you can help other people. If this helps, that's, that's amazing because there's lots of people not surviving. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.